Ben and I are the two songwriters of the band. Uh, there is no process. It's kind of why it's hard to talk about because every song comes differently. The only consistent thing is it starts with an idea and hopefully that idea will develop into a good song. Um, but you never know. So it does make it a torturous process, but at the same time, it's the most rewarding because finish. there's no greater feeling than finishing a good song. Hey, we're the Pretty Reckless. And you're watching Young, Young Hollywood Backstage, backstage Diaries. Diaries. We're here at the iHeart Theater in Los Angeles, and I'm going to bring you guys into the dressing room. Welcome. The Pretty Reckless are a pop rock band and they've supported major acts like Marilyn Manson, Nickelback, Evanescence, and many more. The band and I met through our producer, Kato. Ben introduced us to Taylor and uh, heard some of the songs they were writing. They were sounding great. I got introduced to Ben first, and we started writing together, and it kind of clicked and worked very immediately. She sounded great. We became friends and just kind of started playing together. It was very natural. They had been playing together, and I came in and said, I'm going to be your singer and write your songs with you now. <laughs> I think the idea was that it was going to be the reckless when Taylor first started, and then uh, for legal reasons that couldn't come to fruition. So uh, they tacked on an adjective. I heard it means to me. On it, first of all, great stage tonight, so that's cool. So they've provided a great place for us to play music at the very end of our first leg of tour. I heard it's amazing, and the fact that they're you know so supportive, and we can't ask for more than that. So it's it's very exciting to be here, and we're looking forward to playing. But really, like the fact of the matter is, is hearing yourself on the radio is it's kind of awesome. So all the thanks to iHeart. First time I ever heard ourselves on the radio was when Jamie and I flew in uh, from uh, to London from the U.S. and got in a cab. The cab driver turned on the radio and made me want to die. Was playing. You know, as you, when you're a kid listening to the radio, you, you hear your idols and your, your heroes. You go, oh, it's really cool. And then to hear yourself on the radio, I was like, oh wow. The way we put together a tour is we conceptualize where we want to go. We then have many arguments about when and how we're going to go there. And then we end up playing. And people show up, and we can't believe it. The tour was, this one was a bit grueling, because we all got sick in the middle of it. That was a little challenging. But uh, So I think we're all a little tired. We're looking forward to a quick break. But then we are back touring the world for again and again and again. And it'll be good. We're, we're really excited. It sucks on the tour bus. It seems cool from the outside, but the fact of the matter is, is if you were living in an apartment that was one room and a bathroom with no shower, and you had 12 roommates, it's not as cool as it sounds. Oh, personally, touring with these guys is, you know, we're all like best friends and family, so it's really simple. I get to play rock and roll music with my best friends. How bad can that be? Taylor Mumpson has had loyal and dedicated fans since her CW series, Gossip Girl. As the lead singer of The Pretty Reckless, she is giving her fans a more personal image. I think our fans are amazing. They, I mean, you know, we're, we're lucky enough to show up in various places around the world. And we show up, we play our music, and they're singing along to every song. The reason I enjoy the band the most is just because their overall aesthetic and relevant style to the music that they do. Um, they're always reinventing themselves. I think Taylor's rad as fuck. They know everything. They travel from city to city to come see us. Like, uh, it's pretty much, it's very humbling. Our fans humble me. Pretty Reckless is my favorite band because I've been listening to them for six years now, and I love Taylor's voice. I think she has the most beautiful voice I've ever heard. We're lucky that we have so many fans all over the world that really you know, support us and, and, and show up, you know, show after show after show. And for tonight, I'm looking forward because it's a little bit more intimate, so I'm really stoked about it. We're the Pretty Reckless. And thank you for watching Young Hollywood Backstage Diaries. Thanks for joining us on Young Hollywood's Backstage Diaries. Young Hollywood.